guys, today we've got some foam rolling for you and we've got five exercises that will support you and your body here at the stay at home time. Um, a lot of different tight areas, this is a great um, technique to learn and use day to day um, to release those sore muscles. So let's get after it. We're going to start here with a shoulder exercise and upper back. We get a lot of tightness there from what we call tech neck. Um, and it's a great move to do to release those muscles up kind of towards your neck and your upper back. We want to make sure our heels are into the ground and in that glute bridge position. Hands go beneath the neck here and then we're going to roll all the way through. If you want to move your feet forward or backward to get that full upper back position, feel free to do so. Back and forth here. If we want our elbows in, that'll target more of our middle back here and really get into our shoulder blades. All right, next we have our IT band, which is right here on that outer glute area. It's very tight for everyone, so it might be a little bit kind of rough and tough in that area. We're gonna start on the side. You can bend your knee and move across. You can have both legs planted on the ground, moving back and forth over that area. But what we want is a little bit of feeling out where those tight areas are. Okay, so if we find it tight right here, you wanna hold and then move it through the area. Try not to stay in the same area, move it across that whole side of your body and do it on both sides. Again, either knees here or even up in the air to get some leverage there. All right guys, next we have the quad. So right here in the front portion of our body, all we're gonna do is roll over onto the foam roller and then we're gonna let our legs go and move forward and backward. A little bit of shoulder action here, you wanna control through here. We don't want our shoulders coming in like this. Fingers pointed towards the front <laughs> and move forward and back over that whole quad. Okay, so we wanna cover top to bottom and really roll through any tight areas. Stay in the position for as long as you need. All right, next we have the calf. So again, this is right here. This is a very tender muscle group right here, okay? So we have the gastroc here. All we're gonna do is roll across like we did with our um, thighs and our quadriceps. All we're gonna do is roll through the whole thing. Again, our fingers are pointed straight forward and we're just slowly moving across. If you wanna move to the side and kind of get the whole muscle group, feel free to do so. Again, loosening up that area is gonna be a great technique for walking and running because then we can be flexible. All right. All right, last area we have our hip flexors, and this is an area that's specifically tight for me. Um, and all we're gonna do is gonna move straight to the side and to the other side. So again, like we were with our quads, we're gonna come front first and really focus on this area right here, okay? So we're rolling through. If you wanna focus on one side and then move to the other, that's a great technique, but just make sure to move through the whole muscle group here, okay? So again, I'm moving to the side, to the middle, and to the other side, really feeling that stretch here, all right? All right, everybody, that is all I have for you today. Again, these are five exercises that are great to move through. If it's not every day, um, just every other day, um, to just get some mobility in your everyday routine, especially if we're sitting a lot uh, and not getting much exercise too. Um, if you don't have a foam roller, this was like $10 at TJ Maxx, so you can find that um, any like Amazon uh, or any of those retailers should be relatively inexpensive. If you want any suggestions on that, please let us know.